Good evening. How are you? Uh, good morning. This is Matthew Robert Payne. This is uh, a feedback or a video response to Paul Washer's um, Virtuous Woman that's on YouTube that uh, he preached in the church and people have posted all over YouTube, which is a good thing. Um, I love Paul Washer. I'm just puffing a bit. I love Paul Washer. He uh, speaks the truth. He's not afraid to uh, speak the truth and uh, use plenty of scripture to argue down popular opinion in all sorts of things. Paul Washer is a man after holiness. A man that says that a person can cease from sinning and live a holy and righteous life. Paul's life is an example. He's pure. He's a holy man of God and he doesn't condone uh, people staying in sin and he certainly got a big problem with the sinner's prayer um, causing people to be righteous he says that the fruits of righteousness should speak for themselves not just the sinner's prayer okay the virtuous woman um, Paul had this to say uh, he had made a few points he said in Mark uh, there's a mention in Mark 7 of uh, sensual women uh, not being something of God it's demonic uh, he mentions in the lust of the flesh in Galatians that sensuality is uh, mentioned as a lust of the flesh uh, in James it mentions uh, that sensuality is um, something that's demonic and Paul makes his point that uh, a woman can be uh, looked at as regal and noble and, uh, and a lovely woman uh, dressed really well but any woman who uh, dresses in such a way that uh, she accentuates a body and makes a body uh, uh, a feature makes a body, body an idol with her clothes uh, to show off her body and, and see what it looks like that's a sensual sort of behavior there's, there's women who look regal there's women who look uh, beautiful and beauty is a state of the heart one Peter says uh, Peter says that um, let not uh, you, you dress uh, women in, with outward adornment and, and jewelry but let uh, you, you spring forth with the inner beauty found within your heart um, Paul isn't uh, against women looking beautiful uh, Paul isn't against uh, women looking uh, like real women but he certainly is against um, women dressed in a sexy way and dressed in a sexual manner uh, to attract men. Paul made a, also another point that uh, a man should leave his uh, uh, mother and father and cleave to his wife. It mentioned in scripture, all the way through scripture, uh, a man would make the approach of, on a woman, not the woman making the approach on a man. These days, things are a bit skew if uh, women are said to be bold, he says, when they approach a man or put the, put the number on a man or let a man know that uh, she's interested. This was not done in Jesus' day. This wasn't done even years ago in, in our parents' age. A woman would wait to be asked by a man, and that's how it used to go. A woman, uh, back in those days too, uh, a lot of them didn't dress like they do today. Is uh, Paul being anti-feminist? Is, is he being anti-women? No, he isn't. He's a man of righteousness. He says uh, him and his wife have had many discussions about how a woman should look and a woman should dress. And uh, Paul uh, would know this. Uh, he's travelled all around the world and seen women in all sorts of dress and cultures. And uh, he knows... Uh, what a proper woman looks like. Uh, sexual sin is uh, trouble around all the world and uh, women provoke men into that sort of sexual sin although men have their own problems um, uh, women can be certainly responsible by being um, targets and, and uh, not so much targets for, for sexual crime but uh, let's just say that um, men need uh, to, to see women dressed properly. Uh, I, I, I know um, I'll probably get a lot of comments uh, on this but I'm, I'm just simply responding to 
what Paul has to say. Um, I think that uh, it, I, I didn't see uh, 47,000 people have watched uh, Paul Wash's video uh, on the video that I saw and uh, the video I saw was uh, just pretty pictures uh, going up from time to time it wasn't even Paul speaking live um, and I, I think that someone deserves to speak out and, and agree with Paul you know uh, I, I want to do a series tonight on uh, Proverbs 31 virtuous woman uh, uh, scripture um, this will be the first video in the series and uh, if you go to my home channel you'll be able to see me go through that scripture um, passage uh, that chapter of, of passages line by line as long as it takes I'm not sure how many parts in 10 minutes parts will it, it will take but um, I'm sure uh, we'll cover a few Paul doesn't take the scriptures apart one by one he just talks in a general manner what a virtuous uh, woman is, what the right sort of woman is. A woman uh, should uh, build a man up, he says, uh, should be uh, an asset to his ministry, should build him up, shouldn't be taking from him, but should be building him up um, and supporting him. It's quite a right for a woman to have a ministry, it's quite a right for a woman to be a success in God. Uh, I don't agree with uh, women not uh, ha having a ministry or having a part in a ministry. I believe uh, there were prophetesses in the Bible and I'm sure prophetesses spoke words of prophecy. After all, it was Mary Magdalene who first seen Jesus and took the message back to the uh, disciples that Jesus had ridden, uh, uh, risen. Um, uh, some of the disciples had problems believing it, but um, Peter and John, they ran off to uh, the grave to find out that Jesus wasn't there. So, so Jesus left one of the most precious assignments, uh, uh, announcing that he'd r resurrected and come back from the dead uh, to Mary. He disappeared. They didn't find him back in, in, uh, um, in the tombstone, and uh, he disappeared in the thin air. So... Um, Mary, Mary uh, played a role. Mary supported Jesus in a ministry and um, put her, her money and her finances. And Phoebe and uh, other women are mentioned in the Bible supporting Jesus with uh, their financial uh, offerings. And uh, it doesn't mention men uh, supporting Jesus with their financial uh, back backings. Uh, it only mentions those group of women. So. Women, uh, you know, Jesus talked to the woman at the well. Jesus healed Peter's mother. Uh, Jesus had compassion on the uh, on the mother whose young son had died. Um, the young son probably would have passed on and been in heaven, but uh, Jesus had compassion on the mum weeping. So Jesus isn't a person who's sexist. Uh, it's just that women are created as as a helpmate and uh, and and as a complement to men not as competition and uh, not uh, certainly in the way that uh, they're behaving these days um, so uh, call me uh, a sexist I'm just repeating some of what Paul had to say I hope uh, a few of you find uh, this video uh, I've, I think uh, I've uh, basically summed up some of the things that Paul was saying I, I, if you haven't seen Paul Wash's video um, I encourage you to go and have a look at it uh, and have a look at uh, what Paul Washer has to say about many things he's one of the finest preachers out there uh, God bless you uh, if you want to see me take uh, Proverbs 31 uh, apart line by line um, I encourage you to tune in and have a look at that on my channel bye bye